Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. I post every day bringing you the latest updated tarot reading. In this reading, for those of you in separation right now, we're going to get an update on how your person currently feel about you. Today is the 12th of April 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 5.50 a.m. Let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo in separation right now. Um, how does that person feel about Virgo? Virgo, but, uh, bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and this person. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Two of Wands. So the arm is still holding on to this wand here. Indecisive. Whether to still continue holding on to this connection or to just leave it behind, right? They could be wondering if there could be a future or reconciliation. They're not very sure. And the Four of Pentacles here, it's, it's them again still holding on to you as you can see this person is holding so tightly onto these pentacles right pentacles are under his feet still close this pentacle is still very close to his heart chest area on top of his head so that means he or she is not gender specific still thinking about you still have you still have you in your heart not moving, not going anywhere yet at this moment, okay? Now the hangman is them feeling uncomfortable. Um, as you can see, the hangman is hung upside down, so this is not a very comfortable, not a very comfortable position. But this will do for now. Still thinks a lot about you, as you can see, the yellow light behind his head um, but the hangman is also them feeling like maybe this is just going to be a break like a pause right eight of swords the separation is maybe just a pause uh, maybe it needs more time um, the separation will help also determine if both of you should get back together or not. The time apart, um, I feel like it's essential. They may feel that way. I'll feel that you f you're feeling this way, okay? Sir, I'm a bit slow, yeah? Bear with me, <laughs> very early in the morning. Got the Eight of Swords right here. So they're still stuck. They still think a lot about you. If you wonder if your person in separation has moved on yet, they haven't, okay? Through wands and first, they're stuck. They could be waiting, but at the same time, analyzing if they should turn their back completely on this connection, okay? Again, they're not sure. But I feel like they're leaning towards making that decision to hold on to this connection through swords and love first. They want to heal this situation, this connection, um, because they see you as the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is you, Virgo. They see what you can bring to the plate, how reliable you are, or, or dependable, loyal, stable, steady, or whatever the case is, your person still sees a lot of value in you in this connection, okay? Let's see more for go. Lovers, they still love you. Four swords, 
they still a lot of cards are pointing towards them still thinking about you a lot hoping wishing praying you can see it looks like he's, he's praying right so the swords indicates the thoughts or communication so they could be thinking about communicating with you but the four swords is also a very stagnant energy he's laying down same goes to the hangman and eight of swords a lot of cards that are stagnant, not not kind of not moving, not moving quickly, not moving or not moving quickly. Ace of Pentacles. They feel like they would like to suggest something or offer something to you, perhaps a new beginning. But they need time to think of how on how to approach this. Um, it's a choice, right? The lovers indicates a choice as well. Yeah, I feel like they could be in the midst of making a choice whether they should reach out to you, offer you a new start, or offer you commitment. But the hangman sometimes can indicate sacrifice too. So they could be feeling stuck because they feel like they need to make certain sacrifices to be with you. And sometimes the three of wands can indicate third party, right? Third party may not always mean, you know, a love triangle situation. It could mean that if there's someone else in the picture. But that someone else can also be external factors, internal factors, friends, family, whatever that could be coming between two of you, distance, okay, can be anything. And it takes certain sacrifices, again, with the hangman to be with you, to re be reconciled with you. Let's see a bit more, Virgo. King of Cups and Reverse actually came out in your last reading, so check out your last reading if you want. I just did that like, no, no, 15 minutes ago. So, Virgo, Eight of Pentacles, they feel like maybe it takes a lot of work to be with you. And they're not sure if they're emotionally ready for it. Page of Cups in Reverse. They may feel, they may feel like insecure too. Okay. The page is young, so immaturity. They may feel like they're not emotionally ready, or they're not emotionally secure, in regards to. Being able to put in a lot of work into this connection, again, it's, it's that feeling of what if I put, if I was to put a lot of work and effort into this connection, will it, will it turn into a happily ever after? Will it suffice? Will it be enough? They may not feel enough. Or they may... Or that they may be feeling like whatever they do may not be enough for you. Okay. Not a source of all first. They're really overwhelmed with thoughts about you. But swords can indicate strategy plans as well. They could be planning. But somehow, their emotions could be getting the best of them and I, I definitely see Virgo that they've been hurting okay since the separation um, they have sat king of cups in reverse they could also be focusing on their work to try to distract themselves with the eight of pentacles right here let's see a bit more Virgo judgment they feel like they want to hash things out with you. They could also be thinking a lot about the past. And the devil in reverse. Yep, so they feel like they need to cut something off, release something that is unhealthy. That, again, could be coming between two of you. And we've got the king of wands. So your person could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, Strong, Pisces, Gemini. Um, can be any sign, okay? 
We all have multiple signs in our chart, and this is just a general reading. If you want a personal reading that is tailor-made just for you and you alone, not for the masses, um, you can book me. A lot, of, uh, a lot of people tell me that I'm very accurate. You can PayPal me or um, send me an email, okay? So the King of Wands, they're still passionate about you, passionate about wanting to see if this can work out, wanting to see if both of you can reconcile. But a lot is going on in their head, right? They're thinking a lot, overanalyzing as well. Everything from the beginning till the end, because judgment is here in the Ten of Cups. All right, Frigo. This is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. I hope it helped. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe if you did. And also, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you want to be notified every time I post your videos, which is every day. And um, if you want to book me again for a personal reading, all the information is in the description box below. And for those of you who don't know, I have a, a main channel. It's called Chelsea Love Tarot. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my main channel as well. I do 12 individual sign readings over there. Usually it's for prediction, like weekly, monthly, or yearly. Um, and I go live there once in a while as well. Take care, Virgo. Hope to see you back here again soon. Love you. Bye.